Okay, so today I am going to take a look at the Google Home. I had two things turn up yesterday, both together, the Google Home and the Chromecast, although I don't know if I'm going to bother with that. I might have a little play later. So the Google Home. So we'll do a quick unboxing. So there we go. There is the Google Home. Put that to one side. Okay, so we have this thing that it sits on. Mm. Right, so that's obviously to keep it secure in its packaging. So, we'll have a look what we get in here. So we get some leaflets, setup guide, okay. You know, to match your home, okay, and some product information. And then in the bottom of the box there, we've got the power cable. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so here it is alongside Apple's HomePod. And you can see it is quite a bit smaller than the HomePod. And it is obviously significantly lighter than the HomePod. Now with HomePod you get just the option of black or white. The Google Home, although it comes in just white, you can actually remove uh, the bottom section and replace this. I think there's three or four colours available for this. So you can sort of customise it to suit. Okay, so I've just plugged it in and we'll run through the setup process with it. There's instructions how to set it up. To go through the setup process, I will be using the OnePlus 6. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, I've done that. Okay, add. Setup device. Okay, bedroom, looking for devices, Google Home, found, okay, good. Would you like to set up this device? Yes. Your phone or device may disconnect from Wi-Fi during setup. Okay, so we'll let that do what it's doing. Okay, did you hear the sound? Yes. Automatically show device stats and yeah, we'll do that. Where is this device? It's in a bedroom. Customise room name. We'll just go with bedroom. Okay, it's going to connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, well, it connects. We'll just point out you can, of course, uh, run this off an iOS device, iPhone. The Google Home app is there and available for iOS. I'll give that a whirl later. Okay, we've gone through the Wi-Fi bit. It takes a bit longer than uh, home pod to set up so again it's doing something oh okay teach your assistant to recognize your voice i agree voice match with your google on another device okay so it's saying it knows my voice from another device it will be this device the one plus because i use google assistant on this these previous recordings can be used to make a voice model on this device this should take less than a minute okay okay i agree Okay, so now it's asking what music service I want to use, and I'm going to go for Spotify. Link your Spotify account. Yes. Open with Chrome. Okay, I forgot my Spotify login details then, but we sorted again. Oh, add video service. So we'll go for Netflix. Okay, so we're linked up to Netflix. Stay in the know. Yeah, we'll go for sign up. Now it wants to install an update. Okay, it took about five minutes doing the update and now it's telling me bedroom speaker is ready. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant, here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. Okay, all good. Right, finish set up. Okay, there we go, great. We're all set up. So yeah, that's it. That's the setup process. I'd say we're signing into what did I sign into? Spotify and Netflix. 
it takes about five minutes and it did uh, it installed an update so about five minutes to set it up okay so we're all set up so let's give a let's give her a whirl okay google how far is it to the moon the moon is 384,400 kilometers from earth okay google how fast does a cheetah run Cheetah typically has a speed of 100 to 120 kilometers per hour. Okay, Google. What's my day look like? Hi, Andy. It is 10.26 a.m. Right now in Bolton, it's 8 degrees and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be sunny with a forecast high of 8 and a low of minus 1. On your way to work, traffic is light, as usual. It is 16 minutes by car. Tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. you have book holiday. Enjoy your day. Here's the latest news. From headlines from BBC News at 9.15 a.m. today. The BBC. Counter-terrorism police are investigating it. Okay, so we don't want to listen to the news because it's always depressing. Right, so yeah, that is pretty impressive. Okay, so we've got both of them together, side by side, so we'll start off by saying, Hey Siri, how's my day look? Here's your appointment. All day today, New Year's Day. That's it. Not very good. Hey Siri, how far is it to the moon? Just a moment. The distance from Earth to the moon at 10.59 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time, Tuesday, January 1st, 2019, is about 241,635 miles. Hey Siri, how big is the sun? The radius of sun is about 432,474 miles. Hey Siri, play, play a Spotify playlist. I can't play from Spotify. Okay, Google. Play a Spotify playlist. All right, music on Spotify. Here you go. Okay, Google. Play Talk Sport on TuneIn Radio. Streaming Talk Sport from TuneIn. Hey Siri, play a talk sport on TuneIn Radio. I can't play from TuneIn Radio, but here's the album Ian Wright podcast by Talk Sport Radio from Apple Music. On the HomePod, we have this switch, if you'll just focus in on that. Yeah, there we go. So we have this switch. Now that actually mutes the microphone. So... If we put it there and we say, okay, Google, what's the date? It is Tuesday, the 1st of January, 2019. Okay, there we go. So, we press the mute switch. The microphone is muted. And we say, okay, Google. Okay, Google. The microphone is back on. Okay, Google. What's the weather like today? Today, it'll be mostly sunny, with a forecast high of 8 and a low of minus 1. It's currently 8 and partly cloudy. Okay, so that's good because if you're watching anything on YouTube, like if you're, say for example, you're watching an Apple Keynote or, or another review or something on YouTube and somebody says the words, then any Apple devices you've got, they just set off. So if something's going to be happening, you're going to be watching a video, you're going to be watching something and people are going to be saying the words The microphone is muted. Okay, Google, then you can just mute the microphone. And I suppose there's lots of other reasons you might want to mute the microphone. But yeah, there we go. Good. So away from camera, I've played music on both of them and I've maxed out the volume. And out of the two of them, you get better music out of the Apple HomePod. It's a lot louder, 
there's a lot more bass to it and there's a lot less distortion on the speaker when it's at max volume but as far as being a smart speaker goes the apple home pod is it's pretty useless in comparison to the google home so if you wanted you know if you're into home kit and you wanted a smart speaker then i'd say go out and buy the google home pod the google home sorry if you wanted something that was really loud played really good music was a kind of smart speaker then go and get the apple home pod and of course there are also other accessories that you can run with google home pod so we have the chromecast so we can then actually tell google we can say the magic words okay google we can get it to actually play youtube and netflix that's why i signed into the netflix accounts so clearly there's a lot more you can do with the google home it is just the google home i keep wanting to say home pod clearly there's a lot more you can do with google home apple come on let's let's get something done with the home pod